coolest thing a fan has ever made for me. I'm obsessed with Raggedy Ann dolls and she made like a version of this Raggedy Ann doll of the whole cast. And I still have mine, it sits next to my TV. I once had a fan offer to give me a foot massage, but that's kind of creepy. I got a skateboard with my Jeep, like the grill of my Jeep on it. And it was like hand painted, I think, it was really cool. They made me, it was like a G.I. Joe Scott McCall with a skateboard and my tattoo and sideburns and what else? Oh, it had nipple hair also, which, you know, is very accurate, but it was disgusting looking. Did not, it wasn't, I mean, they're, mine are pretty gross right now too, but it was pretty gnarly. I had a fan FedEx me her panties once, which is pretty cool. There's this girl, Alice, uh, in England, who like is this incredible sketch artist, and she does these like sketches of pictures of me, I guess, that are just, only pencil, and she's absolutely unbelievable. With every piece that's either sent to me or shown to me, I'm seeing a piece of the fan that's in it, and so that's really creative and wonderful. Someone um, at one of the fan conventions brought me my name in Hindi on a little necklace, and I thought that was really beautiful. Hand, like, I don't even know if it's like a hand, like, sewn thing or something, but it said, uh, which I think is funny, because I think Ian and I have, have always joked about if there was a spinoff, it would be like the House of Hale. And I think it said House of Hail, and it had like a really cool wolf that had like the Triskele uh, symbol somehow like incorporated into like the wolf's head, but it totally worked with it. It was really, really cool thing. I wish I wish I had it, but uh, but yeah, that was it was really cool. They have some very, very talented people. Sometimes fans like I feel like are way more creative than I could ever be, which is really cool because it inspires me.